Dear children, we discussed layering in the last class. It is one of the method of producing plantlets with all features of its parent plant. Layering is done by making roots on the branch of the superior quality plant. I had asked seven questions in the last class. Hope you all have done it in your notebook. You should show me when you are asked to submit. Anyway, dear parents, please make sure whether your child is doing well or not. All children must send the answers through WhatsApp group. Okay. Now we are going to uh, discuss two more methods of producing superior quality plantlets. Number one is grafting. We need two plants for grafting. For layering, we use only one plant. But for grafting and budding, we need two plants. Among them, one is local or indigenous quality of plant and the other one is superior quality. But the plants should be in the same species. Grafting is done by joining the branch of superior quality plant to the rooted indigenous plant. The rooted plant selected for grafting is called stock and the branch selected for grafting is called scion. Now let us see the steps or process of grafting. First step, peel off the bark from the facing sides of both the stock and scion in 3.5 cm length. Step 2, bring the peeled off portion of stock and scion in contact with each other. Wrap them together firmly with a jute tine. Third, cover it with a wax cloth or plastic tape. After one month, cut partially the stock above the covered area and the sign below. Last, wait for one more month and cut the, detach the part completely. When it attains proper growth, it can be replaced replanted in a more suitable place. Remove any new branches sprouting on the stock. This type of grafting is called approach grafting. There are other type of grafting too uh, like straight grafting and side grafting. The third method of producing high yield plants is budding. In this method a bud is grafted instead of grafting a branch to another plant. Buds of good variety plant can be grown on indigenous varieties. Most of our rubber plants are made up of through this method. Now let us see the steps of budding. Step number one, cut off the bud from a quality plant. Two, make a T-shaped cut on the plant on which the bud is to be grafted and leave the bark open. Third, insert the bud into the T-shaped cut on the bark. And four, wrap it in such a way that the bud is exposed. And last, cut off the upper part of the stalk when the bud attains proper growth. Now, all of you try to do the assignment given on page number 12. Let me read. Now we are familiar with the different methods of produce superior varieties of plantlets. Examine the information given in the table below and answer the following questions. Crop, variety number one, variety number two. Variety number one. Long lifespan, low yield, active growth in our soil, high resistance to disease, needs less nurturing. Variety 2. Short lifespan, high yield, poor growth in our soil, low resistance to disease, needs more nurturing. Here the features of two varieties of crop has given and examine the peculiarities of the two varieties. What are the methods that can be adopted to produce good sapling with the quality of both the varieties? Question number two. Which variety can be selected as stock and which one of as sign? And third, what would be the qualities of the plant formed by combining the two varieties? Apart from this assignment, all of you try to do or uh, write it, these questions in the notebook and try to do the answer. Question number one. What is grafting? Number two, steps of grafting. Number three, what are stock and sign? 
and number 4 materials required for grafting next different types of grafting and next list of plants suitable for grafting and next what is budding write the steps of budding and materials used for budding and last list of plants suitable for budding hope all of you can write the question and answers in your notebook okay thank you